on the family home of the Ramirez family is that moving forward, there will be no further debt on that home. And we will do that as soon as we can get with the family after, after everything's calmed down here just a little bit. Additionally, we are going to get together with the family of Deputy Taylor and Lindsay uh, when it's appropriate. Certainly right now probably isn't appropriate. And with that, uh, although he is not uh, married and he does not have a home, uh, we will get together with them and we will uh, discuss with them how to provide them with some money to start a scholarship fund in his name. So that his name and what he did and the hero he was will live on also. A lot of people ask us, why do we pay off mortgages? How, how do we get, get to that point? And uh, I was explaining, uh, you know, we've done so many of them now, unfortunately, and, and it, it, I wish we could go out of business. I, I don't think it's going to happen, but I wish we just could go out of business because these are such emotional, traumatic events. We know that when someone is killed in the line of duty and they leave behind children, which quite frankly is what we're most concerned about, the children's world revolves around a couple of things. It revolves around mom, revolves around dad, and revolves around the home where they live and the friends and or school. In this case, these, these children are young enough that probably school isn't an issue. But it revolves around that very tight situation. And we know and don't want to have those children's lives upset any more than it has already been upset due to what, due, due to, due to what happened to that father. And if we could go in and pay off that home, clearly there's advantages to having a mortgage-free home. You don't have to worry about it. It's one less concern. It gives the surviving spouse some freedom to do what they need to do to take care of their children. Possibly don't have to work as much or as long, spend more time with the children. But it also gives the children that stability. And that's what we're looking to do. We don't want them to have to move. We want them to stay with their friends. We want them to stay with the whole world that they know right now. Because as much as we can, we see that as putting our arms around them and giving them the love that they need right now. So with that, uh, we will uh, pay off the mortgage. But I have to send out a plea. So for those media that are here right now, here's where I do my shameless plug, but I have to. And it's very, very important. And I hope that you have put it out there. You see in front of, in front of me here, there's a placard that says tunnel2towers.org. We can't keep doing this unless we have the assistance of folks of Gilchrist County, surrounding counties, and quite frankly, a national support. And that, has what, that is what we have gotten in the past. That's how we're able to come in so quickly and say we're able to help. So with this in mind, I would ask that you please put out the give us us, give everyone our website to go to. Please donate. And uh, one other thing I just want to point out, and it's very important because if you haven't asked it as a question or thought about it, you will. 100% of what comes into our bank account, 100%, will stay with these two families. Now, I'll be honest, there's going to be a preference for the family with the two children, because they certainly seem to have larger needs.